lot of interesting things are happening at Nvidia's front. They are not just a chip company anymore. They are delving very deeply into the software side of things and in every direction. Recently, Nvidia made a lot of announcements around their new GPU powered software, generative AI tooling and lot of other things during their conference. One of the things which caught my eye was this Nvidia Jetson AI. At a very high level in simple words, what it does is it enables you to run large language models on edge devices with the power of Nvidia. Nvidia unveiled this Jetson Generative AI Lab which empowers developers to explore the limitless possibilities of generative AI in a real world setting with Nvidia Jetson Edge devices. Unlike other embedded platforms, Jetson is capable of running LLMs, vision transformers and stable diffusion locally. That includes the largest Llama 2 70 billion model on Jetson AGX Orin at interactive rates and that is huge. Also, if you want to test the latest models and application on Jetson, you can get the device and then or if you don't want to get the devices or the edge devices, you can simply go to this generative AI lab in Jetson and you can start focusing on uncovering this potential of Gen AI in the physical world. Let me show you a few of the real world use cases which you can do with this Jetson lab. For example, once you log in, you can use this stable diffusion web UI and you can generate images. All you have to do is to just give a prompt and it will generate the image. So primarily, um, we have already covered all of these tooling on the channel, but the point is that now you can run all of this in this Jetson AI lab. So it means that it can be run on the edge devices. Similarly, you can run this text generation web UI. You can um, chat with the AI chatbot in any language as you can see here. And this is primarily that um, famous and quite old Uba Booga's text generation web UI, which is quite popular and it is Gradio based. And you can run the LLM in the local environment. So primarily it is running on Jetson containers, which I believe it's a Docker based. And then you can see that this is another application which is Nano Owl, where it is detecting. All we are giving it is a text prompt that okay, detect the person, detect the face, and a hand, and a shoe, and accordingly it is detecting it. How good is that? Then this is uh, the website where you can go and check out a lot of tutorials around text generation, text plus vision, and I will drop the link to. Gets an AI lab, lab in video description. For example, for if you click on text generation, this is a simple text generation web UI which I showed you. All you need to do is to just clone this repo and run this. How good is that? Now this is bit um still bit sort of hard to do. So in that case, I just stumbled upon this library. A repo which support most lava based models to run efficiently on Nvidia's Jetson device. Its installation is like this you just have to clone the repo and then from there you can install the requirements and run it. And accordingly, you have support for a lot of other models. So on the left hand side, if you click on model, then you can select a lot of other models like Llamas, Lavas, Table LM, Phi, Chama, and the list goes on and on. And you can, with the help of this API, Nano LLM, you can run all of these on Jetson device. And the magic behind the scene is the Docker, which is just a container which abstracts a lot of complexities for you. I will drop the link to this in video's description. Go through it. Let me know what do you think. If you're already using these sort of things on Jetson devices, please share your experience as that would be good to know. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.